So they'll lock together because we're actually felting, pulling technically, the cloth. We want the fibers to stick together in the 110 degree water. I'm just kidding. I'm doing that with my mouth. Okay, we're ringing out pretty good. We don't want to get you all soaking wet, but you might get a little bit. That's your Okay, now the cloth is all sewn together in a loop. So we're gonna open up the loop. We need some thread. And I want. Let's see, we need an open loop. So what, oh yeah. Okay, and we need somebody right here. One more volunteer. I have thank you gifts. No one else does. Let go. Okay, folks, we're competing with pipe bands here, so I'll try to be loud. Both hands on the cloth, right? We are going to thump it and pass it clockwise, because to pass it Widdershins anti-clockwise is bad luck for the cloth. So we are passing it sunwise in the Celtic tradition. They call it sunwise, the direction of the sun, and that's this way. So what we're going to do for this first number is we're going to go thump. Fix this. Thump, thump, pass. Thump, thump, pass. A little faster. Thump, thump, thump pass. Thump, thump, pass. Thump, thump, pass. Thump, thump, pass. Buddy, if I'm more, that means big cloth. Laying on the table, gonna make a nice cut someday. You're not silk or lace, but that's not a disgrace. But we're getting soapy water all over the place. Singing, we will, we will walk you. Everybody, we will, we will walk you. Sing it, sing it now. We will, we will walk you. Everybody, we will, we will walk you. Uh, kidding, just kidding. That's, that's not a real one. <laughs> Obviously, that's not a real one. But you did a good job. Look at the clock. You all saw it before we started. And you can see, if you hold it up to the light, the little spaces on there are getting smaller and smaller. It's starting to suck in a little bit. And that's what we want. We want to shrink it to make it weatherproof and um, so that it'll shed the moisture and uh, make it tight and thick so that it's warmer for the person to wear. So the more we do this, the tighter and thicker it will get. And that is why people finish woolen cloth this way. And it is my favorite way to finish woolen cloth. I could do this in my bathtub at home by stomping on it. I could throw it in my washing machine and God knows what kind of mess I could create doing that. Because you could wind up with a big, block of felted junk <laughs> and you don't want that but with a table full of people such as yourselves I can check it in between each song and get it to exactly the right thickness so this is my absolute favorite way to do this it is very time honored and uh, I appreciate all your help so we're gonna do the next song we're gonna do is an English language song that's from Aberdeen Scotland it's one that I learned uh, from my mentor and longtime teacher Norman Kennedy, who uh, is from Aberdeen and also uh, spent most of his childhood in the Hebrides where he learned Gaelic from native speakers. This, however, is not a Gaelic song. I'm going to start you out easy. This is an English language song, but it's in the broad Scots Aberdeen dialect. So it's a dialectic song. So I'm going to try and get the dialect right, but I'm not from Aberdeen, so <laughs> just, just bear with me. But the chorus is what I need your help on, and the chorus 
chorus goes, Oh dear me, the light be if I die an old maid in a garret. So see if you can all sing that. One, two, three, go. Oh dear me, the light be if I die an old maid in a garret. And it's a funny song. And if you know it, sing it. And I did pass out sheets for it, so uh, with, with the words on it. And it has several verses, and what you will do is you will sing the chorus with me between the verses. And on the very last verse, we will sing the chorus through twice, thump the cloth in place three times, and that signals a stop for an inspection. Okay? So are you ready? The rhythm for this one is going to be thump, rub, pass, thump, rub, pass, thump, rub, pass, thump, rub, pass. Well, I've often heard it said by my father and me mother that you're kind to a white and it's the Mackins or oh, another. Give this bit through, then I'll gain it from Tuppet. Oh, it's kind providence. Won't you see me to your wedding? And it's all oh, dear me, this is you. Well, I'd be here for God and old me in a garret. No, there's me, Sister Jean, she's in handsome. Good looking, scarcely sixteen, and the young lads they come courting. Now she's twenty four, we a son and a daughter. Oh, and here's me forty two, and I've never had an offer. And this oh dear me, well I did if I die an old maid in a garret. I can cook and I can clean, I can keep the house right tidy. Rise up in the morning to get the breakfast ready But there's nothing in this wide world Would not me half so cheery As a wee fat manny For to cry me is a pity And it's all dear me But I'd be here for that And oh, hey, in a gallery So come tinker, come tailor Come soldier or come sailor Come on a man and talk that'll attack me from my feather. Come rich man, come poor man, come wise man or come witty. Oh, come on a man and talk that'll marry me for pity and this off dear me. But I'll be if I die and old me in a garret. No, I'm a wife for this lady, but he did not let but he see. And he's bleeding. I'm a white to me and we get it. If I can get a man, I can surely get a parrot and this all dear me. But a lady if I die an old maid in a garret and it's all dear me. But a lady if I die an old maid in a garret. Okay, let's take a look. It's getting a little tighter. It's kind of shrinking up a little bit. It's getting softer. You're doing such good. Nice singing on that. Okay, so are you ready to try some, some Gaelic courses? Okay, what we're going to do now is Hema Lennon. And I think that's um, on the other side of that brook. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. The next one. Yeah, nope, that's... Flip that one. Hey, Lennon? Nope, not that one either. That one, yeah. Okay, so if you can see, I've kind of spelled that phonetically. That's not Gaelic writing. That's big block phonetic letters. And it says, Hey, Malenin, Ho, Malenin. Shay, Malenin, Um, Feru. Hey, Malenin, Ho, Malenin. So that's your part, that's the chorus. It sounds like this. And actually, it, I, I've got um feru written on there, but in Gaelic it's actually ar feru, but it sounds like they're saying um feru, so I wrote it phonetically. So it's hey malenin, ho malenin, she malenin, um feru, hey malenin, ho malenin, and it sounds like this. Hey malenin, ho malenin, she malenin, oh feru, hey malenin, ho malenin, and the rhythm will be the same, thump, rub, pass, Thump, rub, pass. And this song has got, I think, 10 verses, and I'll sing all 10 in Gaelic, and you will do the choruses in between the verses, and then I will sing all 10 in English so that you'll know 
what I said in Gaelic, <laughs> hopefully. And this song is, I kind of like this one, it's from the area where my family's from, the Inner Hebrides, the Isle of Mull, the Isle of Skye, the Isle of Iona, that sort of inner part of the archipelago of the Hebrides. So the Western Isles of Scotland, this is a song from my people. <laughs> well, at least the Scottish part of my people, not the African part or the Irish part. The Scottish part. I, I do have African parts and Irish parts too. <laughs> so, not as Scottish as I look. <laughs> not as African as I look. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be thumb, rub, pass. Thumb, rub, pass. Thumb, rub, pass. We're going to start with the chorus so you hear how it goes. Yeah, I'm a little better. 